Hi. It's hours before the fiscal event or mini budget of which there's wildly fluctuating speculation, much of which is focused on the discredited notion of trickle down economics, an almost metaphysical concept that defies the reality that the rich will accumulate more wealth and trillions extra pouring into their accounts and portfolios as sections of the middle class. Those who manage the system, banking, investment, media, politics, will benefit proportionately. The remainder of us, at the expanding base of the pyramidic structure, will continue to carry the burden of a de decaying, decadent financial and political system propped up by government and state. Trust is government of the same old ugly faces as now to meet the onslaught of the unions who finally after years of acquiescence forced by circumstance are initiating industrial action. Truss has made it her number one priority to institute every possible means of divide and rule and fool, to somehow tame the strikers by methods yet to reveal themselves, assume the virtue impossible at this time, that she manages this by some form of containment. It will solve nothing. There's only mountain incineration, immiseration, poverty, debt, rock bottom existence, some of it <coughs> bordering on third world conditions, with tens of millions plunged into absolute destitution. No way out. Apart from passively accepting this, going down in an episode unprecedented in modern history, we have no choice here in the UK but to hit the streets in waves of protest, disorder, rebellion, refusal, direct action, the like of which hasn't occurred in living memory. And I can predict once it starts happening, there will be practically zero input from the left, unions or phony formations such as Enough is Enough and the People's Assemblies and such like. Could a new age of working class social syndicalism arise from the conflict and chaos? Or anarchist type consciousness on a mass scale? Only time can tell and it's ticking away at an increasing pace. Bye.